All right, Nate, you are the YouTube strategy guru, and we're going to talk a little bit today about how to get YouTube to recommend your video. Yeah, you can really be strategic about that and get YouTube to promote your, your content. We're going to dive into a few things because there's different types of traffic and different ways to get that traffic. So let's dive right in. I look forward to it. So there are different types of traffic on YouTube. We're gonna dive into what those different types are and then show you how to get those different types of traffic, where you should start, and the, the best strategy that I love to teach that makes it predictable. Make sure that you can actually predict how many views you're gonna get. Okay, so YouTube recommendations. This has always been baffling to me because um, I'm often wondering why I'm being recommended certain videos, mm -hmm. how those people is that something that they were able to do? Hey, Mr. YouTube, will you please recommend my video to Scott Christopher? How? I mean, again, a high functioning moron. Hopefully none of you are as bad let's, as I am. Let's start Nate, right here. I mean, take a look at us. this. So we're looking at the Noel Randall YouTube channel. It's a very, very successful okay. channel that I produce. And we're on this reach. Now, let me ask you this. Is it a very, very successful channel because you produce it? It is, and if you want to see why, I filmed a video, I'll link to it right up there, where Noelle and I actually talk about why her channel's successful, what she did, what she's doing differently now that she's working. I just noticed you slid that in there. It was really, it was really nice. I Thank just you. wanted to clarify. Okay, so look right here, traffic source types. Okay. So YouTube tells you where all your views are coming from. So 38% is coming from suggested videos. Now those are what we're talking about? The recommended videos? Well, we're talking about all of these. I'm going to call all three of these way, different ways that YouTube is recommending oh, your videos. Okay. Okay. So suggested, if you hover over it, you'll see a little info bar. Views from suggestions appearing alongside or after other videos. Okay, so those so, are the ones I was referring to. That's mm -hmm. like, wow, those pop up, where do they come from? Okay. Yeah, so if you're watching one video, it's going to recommend, you know what, you should watch this one next. Yes. That's suggested. Yeah. And if you leave it alone, quite often it will just it will play automatically it. play yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so browse is next. If we hover over that, it says traffic from the home page, home screen, the subscription feed, and other browsing features. So typically, if you're on YouTube, the home page, YouTube shows you a whole menu of yes. options. And that is often what's categorized here as browse. Oh, I see. So typically a lot of browse traffic comes from subscribers, but it doesn't have to be. If YouTube thinks, you know what, we're going to suggest this video to them, not after another video, we're going to put it on the home screen. That's browse. Okay. Okay. And then this third one, YouTube search, hmm. it doesn't have an info bar there because I think we understand a little bit more. People are searching Typing for something. In. And then yours is recommended in the search results. Okay. So notice on Noel's, I say that Noel's channel is on fire. I mean, you can see in the last, um, in the last 28 days, she's had 22 million impressions. So she's getting a lot of suggested traffic. And you look percentage wise, yeah, suggested is the, is the highest, browse is, is below it. Now I want to contrast that. I want to show you a brand new channel. When Go you ahead. say 22 million impressions, that's a passive thing from a YouTube person who's on YouTube, right? I haven't looked for Noel at all. It could be search, but it means that from all the results that are in front of them, yours has been Is one, one of, them. of them. Okay. It's appeared as an impression. Whether you've clicked on it or not, it's yeah. there for you to a choose. A click means a click. Right. And a view means they've watched it for at least 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to switch over I want to show you Ted Thomas now Ted Ooh. is a legend okay he's known by like Russell Brunson Russell Brunson apparently dedicated one of his books to Ted this pretty cool guy like he's I'm not sure I understand I'm not talking to you Siri <laughs> <laughs> anyways we'll explain it so even since Siri can understand <laughs> yeah. okay so a brand I new think channel that's a here. good idea if we can play down to Siri's stupidity, we'll cover the whole world. Look at this. Look at God, this I'm growth. Looking. Okay, it's a brand new channel, and we're not talking huge amount of views, but in the last month, he's had 2,000 views. Okay. Uh, we started this channel from this, zero. This a legend. Yeah, this legend. Okay, but he's brand new on YouTube. Okay, so he's a legend in some other. Okay, because when you say legend on one of these, I'm thinking right. he's he's a Mr. Beast legend. No, he's, he's... a legend in real estate. He's a legend in sales okay. and business. And, a lot of and in fashion, clearly. Very clearly. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, but look, look at the growth. Okay. He's been getting more and more views and he's added 120 subscribers out of his 193. So we're just getting started, but he's had 120 of those 
in the last 28 days. Which is when he started, roughly. Uh, uh, yeah, a okay. little bit more than that. So, But we go to reach, look at his, Notice that search is the highest. Hmm. Okay, search is getting 38% and then browse and suggested are below. With the strategy that I teach, we lay a solid, solid foundation of search. And so we'll start to see this. If we look at some of his better performing videos, let's see, you can come back to overview and you see his top performing videos in this period. So during the last 28 days, these are his top two videos. Let's just click on that top one you'll see it's really started to take off. Yeah. You know, 84 days ago is when we launched this episode and it's really taken some time to get momentum. You can break down the analytics video by video and you can see that he really got ranked in search. So it took some time to get the feelers out there, but then the algorithm's like, you know what? This video is the best mm -hmm. thing to show when people are searching for these things. So that's cool. Anyway, he, so he's, he's gotten 371 views. When you're talking about the algorithm, you're, that's essentially what you say, how can I get YouTube to recommend me? YouTube is the algorithm. In right. other words, it's not Leonard YouTube sitting behind a <laughs> desk saying, I'm gonna recommend it. I mean, obviously, but, but still, that's what you're talking about is if the, the, the algorithm is seeing that this is an important video, mm -hmm. it will put him higher up. Yeah, so there's, there's actually a whole bunch of different algorithms or a whole bunch of different formulas. There's, there's the search engine, there's suggested, and there's that, browse, and they all work together. Is that involved with the Google search engine or does YouTube have their own? YouTube has their own, but you, uh, Google often recommends people watch YouTube videos. So your videos will show up in Google search right. when you use the same strategy yes. as well. Okay. When you get traffic from other <laughs> websites, it shows up as external. I can show you that on No Wills when we go back to that. But I, I love this example of, of search because his is, is really starting to take off. Well, and, and the topic itself, how to purchase tax lien properties in Florida. Right now with the real estate market and what's happening, it's another one of those, yeah, earn big with only $50. I mean, yeah, that I think people would, uh, what do you call it, want that. <laughs> A big word to find and you found it. <laughs> It so, really is. Yeah, I mean, we, we did the keyword research, right? We didn't make up that, that title, How to Purchase Tax Lien Properties in Florida. How could you? But we, we found that people are consistently searching for that each month. And when it's that specific and it's clearly related to his areas of expertise, we knew what to make yeah. the video about to get it to rank and to get it yes. to have this search traffic. And so it's, it's clearly working. So this is just one episode, but we go back and look for the, the stats for the whole channel. And, and we see searches rising up. So this is kind of like mm -hmm. the foundation stage. This is the stage where we, where we begin. And then you'll start to have videos that will get promoted and get that suggested and browse traffic. And percentage wise, search seems like it's getting lower. Your search will actually continue to grow, but the suggested and browse will grow exponentially. Right. Like Noel's has done. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. So back on Noel's channel, if we look at all the other sources of traffic, so it shows external you know, 21,000 views, you can click on external and it will show you the different sources. And I'm oh. guessing one of them's, yeah, right there, Google search. So even Google is suggesting, so almost 3,000 views have come to our channel in the last month because of Google. Well, that makes sense because if people are searching for those particular terms, they would normally start on Google unless they know that they're looking for a video, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and the, the last thing that I want to really emphasize, I talked about it on Ted's channel, how specific that title was. Look at the, the titles. In fact, let me just view her channel this way. I'll just click your channel because I'm signed in as a manager on Noel's. Majority of the titles you'll see here are those leaf topics, those really specific topics. But mm -hmm. once you start building momentum and you start to have videos that spike, then you can start to make up your own titles that are more like magazine headlines, more sensational titles. So let's take a look and see. Okay, make these two investments and never worry about money again. Okay, that is not a leaf title. Right. Um, it's got 3,200 views, so our channel's got enough momentum with 300,000 subscribers, okay? How can you write your own book in less than 90 days? That is a leaf title. That is a leaf title, okay? The truth about real estate investing, uh, it could go either way. I'm not sure. I'd have to do the search and find out. The fastest way to remove collections and charge-offs, I'm guessing that is a leaf title. Three ways to get money to buy a house. Typically, people don't type in three ways. Three, yeah. So, you know, that one's, uh, that one's a, a magazine headline title, and this is behind the scenes. And is it because she has enough viewers and enough subscribers that now she's kind of marketing to them off of just this page? Mm -hmm. Saying, 
yeah, now I, that I know you're going to be here anyway. I can come up with my own titles that are headline grabs. So right? right now we're doing a combination of both. But okay. if we if we go back in in time, because Mr. Beast at this point, oh, he doesn't. He can make any title he wants. Yeah, I mean, and, and he didn't use the leaf strategy. That's why it took him nine years to really. Well, <laughs> that's why it took him so many years to get started. But he had a. It's a different type of channel yeah, as well. Yeah, Mr. Beast. You should have been with Nate. His channel wasn't backed by a business. He wasn't trying to promote himself as an uh -huh. expert right. like, like all of my clients are. That's true. Okay, look at all these videos going back a year ago. Every one of them, how to start a real estate flipping business. How to start a real estate investment club. Should I get a real estate Those license? Those are definitely all search so terms. So every yeah. one of them back then, yeah. like I'd say 95% of the videos we did in the beginning were 100%. <laughs> that's funny. 95% yeah. were 100% <laughs> leaf titles. We'll just go with that. Uh, absolutely. And if I may, if I, understand, if I remember kind of the metaphor or the analogy there mm -hmm. is that you start with, you know, very basic how to sell a house. And as you move down the branch, you're adding more and more. Close, and then close. the leaf is like the longest, how to sell a house oh, in yes. Pensacola, Florida for less than $30,000. Right, so we, if we have a, a tree, we've got a trunk, branches, and leaves. Yeah. The trunk is your core area of expertise. I just said that. You're right, you're right. The branches <laughs> are your categories, and the leaves, just like you said, the very, very long specific questions. I didn't questions. say it right, but I mean, that's, yeah. So the, the moral of the story, <laughs> you don't wanna make videos on trunk topics or branch topics, especially in the beginning, like for the first year, only do leaf topics. And then you, once you get to a certain point, you can start doing what she does. Keep doing some leaves, but then <clears throat> start going out and just going after magazine headline topics. But make sure you lay that solid foundation of search first. Scene. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but we'll end with it. So I really do want you to understand my leaf strategy better. In fact, that's ingredient number one of five different ingredients that I teach. And I've put it all in another episode. So go watch that one next. I'll link to it right over there. How to get a thousand views on YouTube in a day. We'll see you there.